And for more on how that cold storm system could impact us here on the Central Coast, KSBY News reporter Taylor Hilo spoke with the California Highway Patrol about what snow could mean for local roads. Well, those wind speeds that Dave mentioned already starting to pick up, gusting pretty intensely out here. But as that storm gets closer, our concern turns to snow levels. It's not often that we see snow this close to the coast, but if we do, it'll be the first time since the late 80s. The sunny central coast bracing for freezing conditions. Something a beach town native could go their whole lives without experiencing. Kids grow up, become adults here on the Central Coast. Unless you leave the area, you might not see snow if you're a California kid this close to the ocean. So this is unique. Snow levels have the possibility of dropping to around 1,000 feet, a level that some of the valley floors are close to in North County. Something that now raises driving concerns for roadways at that altitude. You're a California resident, you're watching the news, you're like, what could this be like? Well, imagine a grapevine snow event. Mm -hmm. We have those all the time where the roads have to be monitored and possibly closed. If you do actually encounter some black ice, my recommendation would be not to panic. Uh, just let your foot off the gas, off the acceleration, and then uh, don't make any sudden steering movements. Drivers are warned to use caution when driving. While Caltrans has used sand on icy roads in the past, they say it's not used prior to a storm, only after. CHP warns be prepared for an inevitable uptick in crashes. The inclement weather always definitely gives us a little bit more calls for service with traffic collisions. I'm sure that'll probably very likely be the case this weekend. It's too early to say there's going to be snow on the Quester grade. It's a slam dunk because these events are so rare. It's not a slam dunk, but it's an open floor fast break. Another thing that Dave and I spoke about was what is the likelihood that this snow would actually stick to the ground? And he says for that to happen, we need one of two things, either a lot of snow or our air temperatures to drop at freezing. And since both of those are possible, it's just a waiting game. In San Luis Obispo, Taylor Hilo, KSBY News. And Caltrans says that during inclement weather events, they do close the grapevine on Interstate 5 in Kern County, and that may cause an increase in traffic on Highway 101 through our area.